Uh, he's got that label of being a spacing big. Uh, and do you think something like that would fit well alongside Zion, or do you think him specifically would fit well alongside Zion? Yeah, I think he'd fit very well. He's going to play a role of a stretch four. Um, can put the ball on the on, on the deck a little bit, not a ton, uh, but he's probably more of a four three than he is any kind of four five. I think he's six foot eight, two hundred pounds. Um, again, once Kispert and Duarte are off the board, Murphy becomes the lone guy in the first round as uh, the the three and D, the shooter who can come in and probably play right now. So yeah, he as well. I, I think I think going you know that eighteen to twenty five, I think is his range. A lot of teams really really like him they like speaking to him as a kid as a person as a teammate nothing but good things uh, have been said about him uh and yeah if you can trade back i think that would be an excellent target uh for him for new orleans i think trey murphy's a great bet to take especially in that range of 17. um and i know he seemingly has a lot of interest uh kind of in that lotto range end of lotto range to top 20 range uh, but, I mean, you're talking about a guy that's going to come in and I think provide two strong offensive tools right away in terms of his spot-up shooting uh, and his kind of just elite off-ball movement uh, as a cutter and as a floor spacer, uh, strong intangibles, still improving kind of with his rim pressure. But I think that's something that will improve over time with him measuring in at 6'9 just a few weeks ago. Uh, but, again, a guy that's going to come in with two elite offensive tools. And so – he is that six nine height. He's got that frame. I mean, a lot of people love to put that uh, three and D label on on guys coming in. Do you think it's overused, or, or is it pertinent here with with uh, Trey Murphy? It can definitely apply, but I think defensively as well uh, is something that is more of a focus on you know more of something that he needs to achieve in terms of his upside. Uh, he's a smart guy. He's often in the right place in terms of you know help defense or. Uh, acting in rotations, but his foot speed isn't excellent yet. Uh, he's not someone that you're confidently putting on ball handlers or wings, uh, but it's something that's improved dating back to, you know, even just his first two years at Rice to now at Virginia. Uh, he's improved drastically uh, with his foot speed, closeouts, all that. Uh, and it kind of ties into his work ethic um, and the kid that he is off the court. 